I'm Hog, this is The Dice, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Status LARP's Random Character Generator. Okay, okay, let's give this a go. Hi guys, my name is Reno, and you're watching the Status LARP Random Character Creator. Hello, Reno. You find yourself at the main menu of the random character creator. Make sure to have a six-sided dice near you. Oh, hey, it's the same size as mine, only like a negative image. When creating a character, you might cool. not know where to start. By watching this video, rolling your dice, and clicking on the links matching the numbers on your dice, you will get a random character base to work off. Please keep in mind that these are mostly fantasy-based, and you'll have to check with your game master to see if they are allowed in-game. Above me, you can see eight links to the time codes in this okay. video leading Race, to the chapters occupation, of the alignment, strengths, weaknesses, Each likes, one dislikes, will lead you to secrets. the character creation chapter cool. mentioned in the box. What Make secret? sure to watch the whole video to create a complete random character, or to skip to the chapter up above to start at the chapter I've you want to I've actually done this first. before and I've forgotten After what secret is. After clicking on the number you've thrown, you'll get to a new video. There, you'll be able to return by clicking on the main menu button in the right down corner. But you'll be better off waiting till the end of the video because our local wizard has created a safe portal for you to return. What now a considerate wizard. Works, let's get started. When in a fantasy setting, you may find yourself having to choose between different races. So let's find out what you've been born as. Wizard, open the portal! I really hope my dice isn't Roll racist. Roll your dice and click on the number you see. After finding out your race, you will come back to me. Okay. Alright, let's see what the dice gods have made me. Welcome, you rolled the dice. Twas number two. Now it's time for your character debut. Your character was born an elf, known for Aww. They live long lives and wear mostly leather and cloth. Ah! own language, Quelfara, adventurer. Continue your journey. No! Through this portal. Not an elf! Occupation. I'm a dwarf! I'm a dwarf! No! Your character has to have a purpose. Something they can make money on and learn more about. An occupation is just what you're looking for. And. You have to spend your skill points on something. So, uh... Wizard, open the portal! Roll your dice and click okay. on the number you see. Okay, let's After hope this works out, out better. Your occupation, you will come back to me. One! Welcome. You rolled the dice. One dot to see. Now let's see what you're grown up to be. Roll Why does the dice everything again rhyme? To see will feast. Rolling even as mage, and on even as priest. Oh, my choices are fucking major priest. You have rolled an uneven number. Your character's a priest. I'm a, dedicated to their god. I'm an elven priest. They practice magic in their name, praying I'm an elven and showing priest. your loyalty to them is what drives you. I'm away. Irish. We have serious problems with priests. <laughs> Your character will probably fit into one of the nine known alignments. So let's find out in what direction your character's moral compass will point. Come on, Wizards. chaotic good. Open Come on, chaotic portal. good. Roll your dice and click on the number you see. After finding out your alignment. Okay, that's a four. Welcome. You rolled the dice. Three dots or four? Not evil? Or good. You're neutral, hardcore. Just okay. neutral doesn't neutral. exist. To determine your true alignment, neutral you have to faith to decide for you. Throw your dice again to find out if you're lawful, Two. neutral, or chaotic. Oh uh, no, not lawful. That's probably lawful. You've thrown a one or two, which means you are lawful neutral. You believe not strongly lawful. in lawful concepts such as No, honor, honor, anything honor, but lawful. Though you often follow no. personal code. I just don't want to get in trouble. As long as the law says I can keep my cow, I don't really care who rules. Oh, hey, 
Get off my lawn, you. Continue your journey by traveling back ah. through this portal. The strength will be chosen. For Lawful and neutral elf. Who's a priest? No! <laughs> strengths. Everybody's got them. They make your character interesting and more realistic. So let's find out what makes people like your character. Wizard, open the portal! Five, Roll okay. Dice and click on the number you see. Strength is probably going to be puppy strangling strength, or something. You will come back to me. Welcome! You rolled five. If you decide to be loyal, you will be for life. To trust someone oh. is hard enough for people. So you decide that whoever you deem worthy will have your complete and lifelong loyalty when your own morals seem to be different from this person. You okay. most likely still see them as a friend who doesn't deserve to be betrayed. Ever. Loyalty. Make friends, but keep the old. <laughs> One is silver and the other is gold. Loyalty! That's nice. Continue your journey. Thank you. Back through this portal. A weakness will be chosen for every mortal. Your character will also have its weaknesses, which is okay because everybody's got them. Let's find out what makes people dislike your character. Wizard! Open the portal! It's the fact that I'm an elf Roll and a priest. The number you see. And After lawful neutral. Weakness, you Six. Okay. Hello. You rolled the dice. It was number six. You may feel your life needs a fix. Your life might not be as you wanted it, but the grass is always greener on the other side. Deep inside, you feel like you need what someone else has got, and you'll go at great lengths to get what you want. Jealousy of someone may take more time than you think. Eh. That's okay. Continue your journey by traveling it's easy to roleplay anyway. Portal. A like will be chosen for every mortal. Your character will like certain things, and whether they're tiny or enormous, it will shape your character. So let's find out what you like. Wizard, open the portal! Roll okay. your dice and click on the number you see after finding out your likes. Alright, let's see what I like. To me. Well, you rolled the dice. It was a number four? Uh, well, As I knew it would be. Now, uh, yes, I'm getting it here. I I'm sensing that the past is something you want. No, something you need to know. When someone comes to you, oh, you'll dig down into their past as much as you can. Their stories interest. So I'm a, I'm a nosy, jealous, loyal. Well, loyal's okay. Lawful, now, neutral, lest you forget, elf priest. You are, after all, a bit of a history keeper. And there are people who will come to you for information. No, except when it comes to your own backstory. <laughs> That's not near as interesting. Uh, you may choose not to share that. I'm playing a prick. Journey by traveling back this portal. Yes, elves are inherently pricks. So are priests. Your character will dislike certain things. Let's find out what you really can't stand. Wizard, open the portal. Roll your dice and click on the number you see. After finding All right, your distance, two. you will come back to me. Welcome, you've rolled your dice. It was number two. You you really don't like getting dirt on you. <laughs> I love rhymes. Your body I don't like may getting not dirty. Be a temple, Meh. but dirt and mud are absolutely Makes sense. no Elf. The fact that you have to bathe afterwards might not even be the worst part. 
you just really appreciate clean clothes and clean people. Continue your journey by traveling back through this portal. A secret will be chosen for every mortal. Psst. I've got to tell you something. Everyone has got a secret. Even your character. And even though I've only got six secrets for you, I'm very certain oh. you can make up more for your character. What kind of secret is my elf priest gonna have? Wizard, it's time to open the final portal. Roll your dice and click on the. Yeah, I'm very dubious about a priest's secret. Your secret. You will come back to me. Welcome. You've rolled your dice. Twas number four. You wish the secret night. Oh, local night love. Doesn't rhyme. Their eyes. Their hair. Your shining armor and sword. Everything about your local knight makes your heart beat faster and the butterflies in your stomach do somersaults. Oh, what would everyone say if you told them about your secret love for the local knight? Are you gonna keep this a secret forever? I'm gonna... Or are you gonna fail in subtly letting them know? I don't know. I'm an elf priest. I might be too ashamed of my own existence to make any move. But I would make a move. So I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. So, as you may have guessed, I was none too pleased with the character that this made for me. However, that's just a look of the draw thing and not really a reflection on the quality of this system itself. I think it would be a really, really good, um, really, really, I think, I think this is a really good system for creating a character on the fly, just doing it really quick, getting it out of the way, getting it ready. Say you're trying to um, you're trying to start a one-off game. You've only got a certain amount of time to play. You want to just get straight into gaming. I think it's really good for that. I also think it would be good for first-time players who don't really know what they're doing, haven't really created a character before. So yeah, if you want to try it out yourself, the link is there. I think probably there, or maybe somewhere down there. No, not there. But yeah, try it out. It's good. It's, it's, it's a good thing for creating a character. You could also, you could probably also use it when writing. Not just like when writing a character, but like writing a book or something. You, you could totally make use of it. So yeah. Yeah, that's my opinion.